Hey everybody, Jamie Pay here. Welcome to the Workspace Wednesday series. We're showing up today with a sleek and functional tool found here and most happily being used on my workspace. Let's get started. Hey everybody, so this Workspace Wednesday, I want to talk about a new tool that is brand new to scrapbook.com as well as part of their gift guide, their holiday gift guide. Did you get to catch that video? This little gem was part of that. And what this is, is the mint tape dispenser because it dispenses mint tape. Did you see how that happened? Pretty cool, huh? Seriously though, it is a weighted dispenser that holds the one inch mint tape. And if you aren't familiar with the mint tape, hang on, because I have five ways that this wonderful and practical tool is being used here in the studio. But let's talk about this dispenser first. Now, this dispenser has pretty good weight to it, actually. Think about your classic office supply tape dispenser. You need to be able to grab the tape, right? And just be able to tear off with one hand because how many times are we like holding something down with our one hand and we're needing to reach for something or whatever? I do it all the time. So that's pretty good that it's weighted. Like I already said, it holds the one inch mint tape. And um, if you have not and are not familiar with this, like I said, I'm going to be unpacking this a little bit more today, but this is one inch in width and it's 36 yards long. There, I have these rolls forever and ever. And now, I don't know, maybe I'll have them less since they're on this handy dandy dispenser, but we'll see. Like you saw, when you cut with this, you get a nice straight edge. This is my straight edge from previously, and then this one. Um, there's no jagged tearing. Like if, if I am to like tear a piece off, that's what it's looking like. Little more jagged, right? So this cutting edge makes it a dream to use. Um, you saw already, it's made of this white acrylic. It's gonna go with all kinds of craft rooms. But I was thinking as I was kind of processing through this video today, you know, you know what you could add to here? You could add rub-ons if you wanted to make it all pretty and everything. I don't know, just wanted to throw that out there. Rub-ons for the win. Okay, it has a great base here. So it's not going to go anywhere. Always love that, right? So the mint tape's not included, but let's talk about the mint tape next. Okay, the first way, and this isn't the first way I ever used the mint tape, but this is actually a fairly new way to me because I realized how handy dandy is this tape for holding a place in my, especially my pocket albums. Now, if you're following along over on my channel, I have an October album series going on, and this is a pocket album series. And what often happens is when I'm planning out these pockets, I will very often take a piece of the mint tape and I will write a note on it. This one here is quote, and I'm gonna take that little quote piece because on this little part of my pocket here, I have a quote that I need to print and put on and inside this pocket journal here. I have, this is my, my son's SAP is my son and rock. And I know exactly what that photo is. And I have an oak leaf picture. I have another piece I need to back this up with. So if I'm not quite ready to insert pieces into my pockets, or I will do this on a planner page, or I will very often on my planner pages, I will put the dates of the week so I can plan out my weeks and what items are going to go on those particular page spreads. So I think mint tape is fantastic. It's almost to me better than a sticky note because often if I pop a sticky note up on, up here, it likes to, it likes to turn. It likes to pull up. It likes to not stay flat on my page. And that's just a little irritating. I mean, I know it's a first world problem, but still, this is just nice and clean, comes off super easy, leaves no residue. And um, if often like my, on my journal ones, or this one says in bell, I can pop it on another pocket if I know that's what's going to go inside that pocket. So writing notes on your projects with mint tape. Okay, the second thing I like to use the mint tape for is for masking stamps. Now, what do I mean by that? I have my stamp platform out here. I'm going to set this up and I have the gratitude stamp set and I've used this quite a bit. You can see samples of this in the gallery. 
What I've done pretty often with this set is there's a lot of pieces that um, I that have sentiments that could be a secondary sentiment. So grateful for so much. Now you saw me use this on a card that I made for World Card Making Day, and I just used the so grateful. And so let me show you with this stamp, gratitude, it changes everything. I'm going to center this on my three by four card here. And as I ink up that gratitude, it changes everything. I would really prefer just to have the gratitude in this particular instance. I could cut my stamp up. That has been used often. I don't prefer to do that. So what I'm going to do is lay this over the It Changes Everything. And my piece is wide enough that it can also attach here to the top of the platform. And that way I know it's going to stay in place. And then when I come over here to my card, now I should only have the gratitude on my card. And I can go back and re-ink that, right? Because it's not quite as bold as I'd like it. Now, you could keep the mint tape on the stamp and then ink over that. It's going to be a little extra messy if you do it that way versus going ahead and inking the stamp first and then coming back with the um, stamping it and then removing the mint tape. See how beautiful that is? It's just a beautiful gratitude, which now this could be a journal card or this could be a place card in your three by four album. And what we have left over here is just what it looks like on the platform. Okay, the third way that I use the mint tape here in my workspace is by holding a die down. You've seen this before. This is definitely not anything new. So I have used one of the yellows cardstock. I've trimmed it to three by four. And let's say I want to make a little window in the middle of it with this cozy foliage die. And so I have set that in place. Just gonna take a small piece of mint tape Actually, I'm going to line this up just a little bit better. There we go. And then just run this through. And the beauty of this is that my die is now going to cut exactly where I want it to cut. It's not going to move. Everything comes off super easy. How great is that? And also, you get a two for one, right? because we have now this leaf that's ready to go too. But the important part was now you can make a little shaker from this, you can make a little peekaboo, you can make a tag, sky's the limit. Okay, the fourth way I wanna share with you, and I'm sharing five today, I'm sure there's many more ways you could be using the magic tape. So let's say for example, you have taken a scrap piece of paper, and because you know, you're super frugal and you use all your scraps, but then you realize, oh, I want to trim this down. How can I really trim this down really well and not with too much difficulty? So one of the ways I like to do this is to take the strip, attach it to the mint tape. Then you can pull it into your trimmer just like this. I've trimmed the bottom part of that because I'm a fan of journal strips and phrase strips. And I can now push this guy in there as far as I need to, make sure he's lined up. Then I'll just come along here and trim the sides up. And it's just one way if you've got little scraps of paper but you're wanting to make little sentiment strips, journal strips. You can do this even with um, stickers or maybe you have printed out a, a journaling card and you realize I really want those to be in strips. 
that's just one way you can use your mint tape to help you get those trimmed out. Okay, guys, I have one more idea to share with you. And again, like I said earlier, that doesn't mean that's all the ideas for the magical mint tape. If you have any ideas that you have discovered for your workspace and the mint tape, I'd love for you to share that with me in the comments and others would love to have that insight as well. Now, something I do often, because we've talked on this channel a lot about saving your scraps and what do you do with your scraps? And we've talked about organizing them. Sometimes I end up stamping on them and then I'm like, ah, oh, do I fussy cut it? Do I wanna make it out of a circle um, punch? And yes, actually I do want to circle punch it, but now it's so small and I can't get in there and do it. Let me show you what that looks like. So, you know, I, I want to cut this into three quarters, but my piece is too small and I can't fit it in there. Well, tack it to your mint tape and then you just slide it right in there and you can line it up perfectly. And then you have a little cute circle and a flower stamped on top. Again, you can do this with anything, whether you've rubbed something onto another thing and you realize, you know what, I want that to be punched out and you don't have enough room, use your mint tape to make that happen. So thank you so much for watching this video today. Thank you for joining this in the, on this series. I have a whole series of Workspace Wednesday on this channel. If you don't subscribe already, I would love for you to be part of this community. If you're interested in any of the supplies I've used today, they are listed below and I will see you in the next video.